Well, when you turn the pages of an Andy Griffiths book, you enter a world of wild imagination and wicked humour. For more than two decades, the celebrated Australian author has been captivating young readers worldwide with titles including The Day My Bum Went Psycho and the record-breaking Treehouse series. He has sold millions and millions of copies, earned a stack of awards, but most importantly, he's taught kids to love reading. Now, the comic writer is back with a brand new adventure and a new collaborator. And we welcome Andy Griffiths back to the Morshire. Lovely to see you, mate. Great to be here. 25 years, 33 books. Is the secret to success somewhere in a great fart joke for you? Uh, yes, um, <laughs> but once I used that fart joke, I've, I've spent my last 20 years trying to get away from it. <laughs> it was, uh, There's no it was escaping such a, a great fart. <laughs> um, it certainly brought my name to a, a wider audience. Um, and it was actually a joke about how many times can you say the word bum in front of an audience of kids before they stop laughing. And oh, apparently there is no uh, limit. <laughs> to, to, and I thought, let's harness that power of of silliness and laughter That's and rudeness clever. in the service of literacy. So I said, do you want bums? I'll give you an action thriller. Yeah. Uh, Which is what Larry said this Monday morning when he got his right. own bum tattooed. He knew that there's a laughing bums. The day my bum yes. went psycho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. book week right now. So, but I guess every week's book week to you. But it must be absolutely. nice to see kids dressing up and everybody enjoying books, is it? Oh, it's fantastic. And, mm. and books have held their own against many other forms of um, distraction uh, because books offer us a particular personal relationship with the author and creating that world in your own way. Um, it's, yeah, yeah, everyone it, sees it differently, don't they? Like, it's yeah. So it's you and the author playing together to create an amazing thing that's yours. Mm. And when people have that experience, they they are grateful to you for life. And many of my younger readers are now in their twenties and thirties, mm. and they're just as excited to meet me now as um, yeah. I'll bet. I, I never expected that because I'll bet. Yeah. Um, we talk a lot on this couch about kids getting into technology so early and how that affects them and how that that world is changing, but. You you're still getting in early, aren't you? <coughs> Absolutely. Getting in early. Yeah, and look, I think there's a balance. Um, I, my imagination was fired by books and comics and crazy television from the 70s, you know, Lost in Space and Get Smart. Yeah. These, in small, small doses, uh, everything okay. is good. Mm. Um, but if, if one predominates and they're not getting to read a book ever, you're losing the skills of literacy and access to experiences and knowledge that are so valuable in so many ways. And fart jokes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, There's always a place for them. The new Adventures Unlimited series you're yeah. about to embark on, what, what, what's this idea? Well, the kids have been writing to me for many years saying, mm -hmm. can you put me in the book? Can you put me and my friends in the book? And so I was mulling over this. How would you get the reader as a main character in the book? Bill Hope, an illustrator from the Blue Mountains, said, why don't we put them in head-to-toe adventure costumes and we'll put a cardboard box hel adventure helmet on their head and then any reader can be that you character. I'll be the other guy, me and you. Yeah. Uh, we're going on an adventure to the land of lost things and don't mess up because, you know, I need you to find the way and um, help me find the foot. Yeah. yeah, OK. Wow. Now, we've got to get serious for a sec. We've seen the likes of uh, kids' author J.K. Rowling getting in a little bit of hot water lately over her political views. Do you have to be mindful of things with the political correctness sort of umbrella now? Do you have to be mindful of what you're doing, where you're going? Absolutely. And, and I always have been, to the best of my capacity, mm. uh, and jokes that I might have done 20 years ago, I would be like, oh, that's a little bit insensitive now mm. and I will rewrite certain passages from earlier books if they're bothering me. Um, right. uh, I think that's totally legitimate. Um, but I'm very aware that I'm a guest in many um, families' homes and the parents trust me, yes. the kids trust me to tell them a really rollicking good story and not to get on the soapbox and try to present any particular political view that I may have. I trust that if the reader has the skills of literacy, they are then able to go out and make their own decisions about uh, their own political views and assess information well for said. its reliability. Yeah, that's a really well considered mm. response. When you say that you might go back and rewrite something if you think, it, have you done that or have you looking at doing that or is it? 
Well, the very first book, Just Tricking, which yeah. was written in 1997, I wrote it for early high school students, sure. of which I'd been teaching and trying to get into writing. Mm -hmm. And I used words that like hell yeah. and bloody, mm -hmm. um, which was kind of no edgy for the time, but not so bad. Yeah. And then afterwards I realised, oh, all these primary school kids are reading the books okay. and kids as young as four and five and, and these days eh, you don't need it. Yeah. So if you can use, if you can work clean, as Seinfeld has, has taught us, your audience widens. And as I've gone along, I think I've got more and more skillful at yeah. um, talking to a very wide audience yeah. without offending people unnecessarily. Yeah, Unless I choose to. Yeah. <laughs> I still um, reserve the right. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, you're amazing, mate. Thank you. Lovely to see you, as thank, always. Thank you. Andy thank Griffith's you, new book is called Adventures Unlimited, The Land of Lost Things. And it's going to be just as fabulous as everything else he's done. And uh, it's out now. Thanks.